Hey, have you ever played Jet Moto? It's no secret the big three champion their own racing franchises. Nintendo with Mario Kart, Forza with Microsoft, and of course, Sony has Gran Turismo. And sometimes wipe up. But way back in the early days of PlayStation, Sony also had the Jet Moto series, a science fiction take on motocross where the player races on hover bikes. Developed by Single Track, the very same studio responsible for the Twisted Metal series, Jet Moto was actually fairly popular, spawning two sequels in the PS1 era. But for one reason or another, it never continued in the later console generations. Which is a shame, because I think this racer has become somewhat forgotten, or is at least unknown to the youngins these days. So today let's take a quick peek back at this racing gem and see what made it so special. The rules of Jet Moto are your standard racing fare. Complete a set number of laps, being sure to hit all the checkpoints and be the first one to cross the finish line. There are 20 characters to choose from, all from teams sponsored by Mountain Dew, K2, Axiom, and Butterfinger. See kids, product placement was infesting games even in the 90s. Each character has their own backstory, which you won't read, and differ in their stats with you favoring either a faster moto that is far lighter and easier to wipe out, or a slower moto that's easier to handle. Gameplay for this 20 plus year old racer actually holds up pretty well. There's a good sense of weight and responsiveness to what you do. Hell, you might be brave enough to pull off a couple tricks. <laughs> Yeah, this all falls apart though as soon as you try and make a sharp turn. The game's physics don't really play well with sharp turns, and it makes you wonder why they designed so many twisty turny tracks. Luckily, some turns offer a bit of help in the form of these goofy looking purple grappling hooks. Basically, if you hear these purple pylons at a turn and press the circle button, Prince will shoot a tractor beam to help guide you around it. Hold on to that circle button too long though, and it's lights out. There are 10 tracks total in the game, seven of which have to be unlocked in the game's season mode. And uh, yeah, big surprise, these tracks are not for the faint of heart. The first track you race on pretty much looks like a flooded Los Angeles, complete with destroyed freeways. Other tracks take you to the mud of the south in more motocross-inspired courses, eventually leading you to snow-capped mountains, which are easily the most treacherous courses in the game. You will fall, you will fall a lot. Oh, but the real treats are the suicide courses. Tracks that make you pull a 180 turn at each end, making you speed right into your approaching opponents, making for some delicious wipeouts. <laughs> also, fun fact, Suicide Swamp is actually a secret course in Twisted Metal 2. The ultimate course you unlock is simply called Nightmare, and it is... Well, a nightmare. A hell course of rusted metal suspended above what appears to be a thriving metropolis. Every turn is tight, there are drops everywhere, and using your turbo is likely to send you flying to your doom. Good luck. So is Jet Moto worth returning to today? Definitely. Look, it's for sure showing its age in a lot of ways, but if you can overlook the wonky physics, this is still a solid racer that's great to play with friends. And you know what? I really think Sony should revisit this series. This is a concept that would still work today, and let's be honest, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for Sony to have another arcade racer to push. I mean, Wipeout is great, but the future of that series is always uncertain, and Gran Turismo, while phenomenal, is really not for everybody. I don't know, Sony has a lot of great IP that they haven't touched over the years, and with a new console looming, maybe it's time to dust this one off and give it a fresh start. But that's all for me today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you get a chance to play Jet Moto in the future. Who knows, PS5 backwards compatibility, we can dream. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe. I do reviews, I do these short little have you ever played videos, and I do let's plays every once in a while. And hey, maybe shoot me some recommendations for a game you'd wanna see on this. Anyways guys, take care.